Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuang. Today, let's draw the tail of Tylosaurus. We can't see what the soft tissue on the tail of Tylosaurus looked like from its fossils. But based on the fact that its fossils show it had a bent tail structure, we speculate that like other mosasaurs in which we've found soft tissue, it might have a bent tail structure similar to an upside-down shark called a fin. We choose an angle with its tail facing the audience to show it, and through the underside of the tail, we can see the front of its body. When drawing, pay attention to the perspective relationship and we'll get to know how the perspective reflects such a composition. Its tail is in the foreground of the picture, so it looks big, and the further forward the body is, the smaller it looks. Now, let's draw its tail. First, we start with the base of its tail, and we are going to draw it swinging over. The base of its tail was here, and the two rear fins, the rear flippers, were here. The base of its tail swung like this from here, and we can simply draw the midline on the lower part of the tail. We can see how its tail went from thick to thin. From the bones, its tail had a downward flexion here, called the tail bend. Both sharks and ichthyosaurs had this kind of tail bend, but the sharks is reversed. For animals like Tylosaurus, its tail bend constituted the lower lobe of its caudal fin. On the rear of the lobe, we can draw it slightly tattered and worn, like a shark's. The part containing the bones was relatively convex, and we can use thinner lines to show it its internal structure. Then, the top half of its caudal fin was here, and there were no bones here, so we don't need to draw these thin lines. The upper lobe was shorter and slightly tattered. We can draw some structural lines to clearly show its fins were turned from here. After drawing its tail, we proceed to complete its body. Here were its two hind limbs, and then its trunk, which was relatively round. The two forelimbs were here. its head, lower jaw, mouth, eyes, and tongue.
we can draw a boundary between the upper and the lower parts on the side of its body. And then, draw some wrinkles on the neck. And some shading on the underside of the fins. Good, like this, we've finished drawing the tail of Tylosaurus.